Hello, my name's Rachel and um, my son Tom uh, was murdered in an unprovoked knife attack in 2016. He was 22. So for four years I've been living on my own, um, holding a lot of pain on top of pain on top of pain. Three weeks ago I stumbled upon a Facebook feed with a remarkable man called Tom Zuper, who has written two books. One of the books I've read recently, it's only three weeks ago, um, and the whole experience has been phenomenal. He's been inviting us to read chapters from his first book, Permission to Mourn, A New Way to Do Grief, and I'd really like to share with everyone chapter 16, You Are Stronger Than You Think. You are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you know. You are stronger than you feel. You are stronger than you believe in this moment. You have already walked through fire. You can do it again and again, and again, if necessary. And so can I. I drove downtown to the county clerk's office. I was surprised and delighted there was no line. I walked right up to the counter and was helped in less than 60 seconds. No waiting. I'd already printed the request form at home using my computer and printer. I filled it out ahead of time and read through it again to make sure everything was in order. And when the woman asked how she could help me, I handed her the form as if I were handing in a prescription at the pharmacist or a receipt at the dry cleaners or the claim check at a lawn mower repair shop. My action seemed that ordinary, that routine. Eight years after his death, I was requesting a copy of my 13-year-old son Rory's death certificate. His, his death certificate. As I said, I have already walked through fire and so have you many times. You are stronger than you think. Know, feel, believe. You have walked through fire and you can do it again. Take a deep breath and think about something you've done recently that required extraordinary strength, courage and even grace. Something that most people don't do in a normal day. Something like me, like requesting a copy of my son's death certificate. Take a deep breath and remind yourself that you have already walked through fire. Remind yourself that you are stronger than you know, than you think, than you feel. You are even stronger than you believe. Remind yourself that you can walk through fire again if and when it is necessary. When was the last time you walked through fire? You are stronger than you think. I mean, this chapter for me is, um, 
I think the whole book for me was a game changer, actually. Um, like I said, I've been struggling for four years. Three weeks ago, I stumbled upon this remarkable writer, this remarkable speaker, who has really changed my perception about how I feel about myself, how I feel about my grief, and how I feel about my future. Um, he's given me what it says on the tin, permission to mourn, permission to mourn. But he does it in such a empathic, he supportive, encouraging, change of perception. For a long time I was feeling such loss. I'd lost my only child. I had no family. My two sisters, they turned their backs after after Tom's funeral. Best friends left. The relationship I was in after three days after Tom's murder decided that he hadn't signed up for this. Deep grief, emotional pain, emotional ill health, mental ill health. And I feel so grateful in the last three weeks, I've been shown that my whole life ahead of me does not have to be chained to pain. So thank you, Tom Zupa. Thank you all for having your journeys running parallel with mine. We run alongside each other and we can support each other. And I'm so very grateful from Tom, my Tom and me. Thank you so much.